Hello everyone and welcome to Clara's Tech Hub. Today I'm going to talk about the basics of Microsoft Excel. This is a tutorial on Microsoft Excel basics and I'll talk about how you can split text into columns. Don't forget to subscribe and you'll see more and more videos. I have a list of names that is name and its surname in one column. So I want to split the name and surname into separate columns. The name in its column and the surname in its column. How am I going to do this? Well, I'll be using the text to columns feature in Excel. The first thing is I will highlight the list of names that I want to split. Then go to data, under data tools, select text to columns. Then here it says choose the file type that best describes your data so you have to choose between delimited where characters such as tabs and commas separate your data or choose fixed width where fields are aligned in columns with spaces between each field and here we have a review of selected data and our data does, does not have commas so we will click next so this screen lets you see the delimiters your data contains. You can see how your text is affected in the preview below. As you can see, my text has not been affected and the only delimiter that we have is a tab. But there are no tabs that separate the names and surnames. We only have space, so I'll select space here and then we click next. This screen lets you select each column and set the data format, so I'll leave it as general. Then we select the destination. This is where our data will be inserted. So I'll highlight these two columns, column C and column D, then I'll click finish. Done! Now we have managed to split the names and surnames into two columns. What's remaining now is to split the second list of names into columns, but this list have commas and full stops separating the first name, initial of the second name, and the surname. So I'll select this list. Then here, I'll leave it as delimited, and then we click next. Our data is separated, but there are no tabs that separate the names and surnames. We have space and commas and full stops, so I'll select commas and space, and then I'll click next. I'll leave this as general. Then we select the destination. This is where our data will be inserted, so I'll highlight these three columns column C, column D, and column E. Then I'll click finish. Done! Now we have managed to split the names into three columns. Thank you for watching this video. Like this video if you've liked it and click the subscribe button for more and more videos. See you next time. Bye!